Hello to all. Today we will be discussing that how do gametes are transferred in the process of uh, or we can say that just before the process of fertilization because we know very well for the successful fertilization it's quite necessary that the two compatible gametes must come close to each other so that's why this gamete transfer is also included in the pre-fertilization event only as soon as the gametes will be transferred then in the next stage or or we can say it is in the next event of the sexual reproduction that is fertilization the gametes will be fused together okay so the theme of today's video is the gamete transfer we have already finished the gametogenesis and now the second one is the gamete transfer now after the formation of male and the female gametes we know very well we have already studied the gametogenesis and we know now that how the male and the female gametes are produced so after the formation of the male and the female gametes they must be brought together for the purpose of successful fertilization and we must know that the fusion of the gametes is also called as the syngamy the fusion of the gametes is called as syngamy but how how this will happen how this will happen that we have to see it so in majority of the organism male gamete is motile you must know this thing that in majority of the organism the male gamete is motile generally it has been seen this phenomenon is seen and the female gamete is stationary that is non motile okay one thing you have to remember is that that in the majority of the organism the male gamete is motile and the female gamete is non motile that we know this thing okay but exception is that it's not necessary that it's always true there are few fungi and the algae where both the types of gametes are motile where both the types of the gametes are motile that can be seen in few algae and few fungi otherwise it is not a common phenomenon generally what we see that male gamete is motile and female gamete is non motile if we talk about the human beings also so we know very well that egg is non motile and the sperm is having the tail and it is motile now a medium is needed through which the male gametes move a medium is needed through which the male gametes move generally we have said that the gametes are motile so they need a medium they need a medium through which they will move now what is that medium we have to see so if we talk about some algae if we talk about in algae generally in algae and the bryophytes and the tidophytes water is the medium for the gamete transfer we know very well that gametes are motile and for their movement we need a medium so what we want to say here that in the case of the algae and the bryophytes and the tidophytes water is the medium for the gamete transfer water is the medium for gamete transfer a large number of the male gametes however fail to reach the female gamete now when these male gametes travel through the water medium then what happen it's not necessary that all the male gametes will reach the female gamete and then they will fuse together no it is not possible water is the medium right and it's a big one okay say for if uh, if some pond is there okay and in that the gametes are released and water is actually carrying so it's not necessary that they will be definitely reach on the surface uh, or they will reach near the female gamete so what i want to say a large number of the male gametes fail to reach the female gametes now the problem is that that if the male gametes will not reach towards the female gamete then how the fertilization will occur and if the fertilization will not occur then how the post fertilization events will occur so to compensate this loss as we know that large number of gametes fail to reach the female gamete so to compensate this loss of gametes what the nature has given the gift to these plants that in them the number of the male gametes the number of the <coughs> male gametes are produced in large number the number of the male gametes are produced in very very large number how much they are several thousand times they are produced in number several thousand times more than the female gamete means it is very much clear that in the case of the algae bryophytes and tidophytes 
for the movement of the gamete water is acting as a medium and when the male gametes move through that medium many of the gametes are not able to reach near the female gamete to compensate this loss always the number of the male gamete produced is more than the number of the female gametes okay now see here another one now this is about the algae bryophytes tridophytes now coming to the higher plants that is the seed plants that is the seed plants now you have to watch here that how in these plants the gametes are transferred which is very very important section and uh, overview you will see in this chapter but the detailed version of this section uh, you will be able to see in the chapter number 2 when you, where you will be studying the pollination pollination is a way okay uh, to transfer the male gametes near the female gametes now see in seed plants both male and female gametes are non motile now the case is totally different here here we have seen in algae bryophytes and tidophytes male gamete was motile and female gamete was non motile now both male and female gametes are non motile now here the pollen grains you might have heard about the pollen grains which are produced in the anther you have studied in 10th class also so here the pollen grains are the carriers of male gametes here the pollen grains are the carriers of the male gametes okay means the male gametes will be produced in the pollen grains and ovule has the egg and ovule has the egg now egg is acting as what the female gamete egg is acting as the female gamete now where is ovule present this is the diagram drawn here this is the diagram of the carpel you know the carpel has three parts stigma style and ovary ovary consists of ovule and inside the ovule what is found egg is found egg is what the female gamete and uh, the pollen grain inside the pollen grain what will be produced male gametes these are the male gametes and this is what the pollen tube this pollen tube will carry the male gametes inside the ovule where the male gametes will fuse with the female gamete that is known as the egg to form the zygote and later on zygote will be converted into embryo so this is the entire process that this process will be studying in the chapter 2 but just have a view in seed plants both male and female gametes are non motile so here the pollen grains are the carriers of the male gametes and ovule has the egg which is the female gamete now pollen grains produced in anther pollen grains are produced in anther now the question arises that how the pollen grains which are produced in the anther will reach on the surface of the stigma because stigma is the part of carpal and carpal is the female reproductive organ so pollen grains produced in anther are transferred to the stigma of the female organ stigma of the female organ known as carpal by a process called as pollination by a process called as pollination and you might have heard about the pollination that what is pollination it is very simple that transfer of the pollen grains transfer of the pollen grains what are filled in the pollen sac pollen grains so the transfer of the pollen grains from anther to the stigma the transfer of the pollen grain from anther to the stigma is called as what the pollination but pollination is a long process it's not so much small okay so pollination are of two types we will be studying this in detail in chapter number two of ncrt now pollination is of two types self pollination and cross pollination it's a very simple process now self pollination is the transfer of the pollen grain is the transfer of the pollen grain from anther to stigma of same flower same flower means bisexual flower or a different flower but found on the same plant but found on the same plant again i am repeating what is self pollination it is the transfer of the pollen grain from anther to stigma of the same flower or different flower but found on the same plant and that same plant uh, uh, on that same plant uh, the transfer of the uh, pollen grains will occur okay now in bisexual in bisexual flower self in bisexual self fertilizing plant say for if i talk about the pea in bisexual self fertilization plant like pea the transfer is very much easy why because here the 
here the enter and the stigma are very close together because they are bisexual. So the chances of the self pollination will be more and the transfer will be very much easy. Okay. And if I talk about the cross pollination, transfer of pollen grain, transfer of pollen grain from anther of one flower to the stigma of different flower of other plant means here in the cross pollination imagine that there are two plants one plant is having the male flower and another plant is having the female flower and now if the pollination is happening if the pollination is happening between these two plants between two different flowers of different sexes then it is called as the cross pollination then it is called as the cross pollination which we will be studying in detail now see here this is the pollination shown. This is the pollination shown. This is the male reproductive organ known as the stamen. And this is the anther part. This is the anther part. Anther consists of pollen sac and pollen sac consists of pollen grains. As soon as the anther will mature, what will happen? It will rupture. Dehiscence of the anther will occur. It will rupture. And when it will rupture, what will happen? The pollen grains will come out. Now, what is pollination? Transfer of the pollen grain from anther to stigma. And the agencies of the pollination may be wind or insect or any other agency and by which what will happen these pollen grains will now reach on the surface of stigma as soon as the pollen grain as soon as the pollen grain pollen grain reach here on the stigma later on what will happen it germinates when it germinates what will come out the pollen tube now in this pollen tube what are there male gametes are there. What are their male gametes are there? Because we know very well that the carrier of the male gametes are pollen grain. Now the male gametes will come in this pollen tube. Now pollen tube through the style will move towards the ovary. In ovary what is found? Ovule is there. In ovule what is there? Egg is there. So these male gametes which are carried by the pollen tube are now released in the ovule where the male gamete will fuse with the female gamete. Okay. And later on the act of the fertilization will occur okay so this is all about that how do the gamete transfer occur in the case of the seed plants okay so this was the second case now coming to the third case that is that how do gamete transfer occur in unisexual animals unisexual animals say for if i talk about the human beings so we are also unisexual so how do the transfer occur right this thing is also only introductory only introductory part we have to study here Again, if you want to study the detailed version of this thing, so we have to wait for the topic number three, that is the human reproduction. Now, in unisexual animals, male and female gametes are formed. Male and female gametes are formed in different individuals. Of course, say for egg and ovum is produced in the female, in the animals, and sperms are produced in the male. Therefore, the organism must evolve a special mechanism for gamete transfer. Female gametes are produced in the female organism, and male gametes are produced in male and male gametes must be transferred in the female so that the fertilization can occur so for this purpose there there must be a special mechanism for the gamete transfer and many animals have copulatory organs many animals have copulatory organs to transfer the male gametes say for if i talk about the uh, human beings then in human beings the copulatory organ is called as the penis and through the penis the sperms are released into the female vagina and from the vagina uh, through the uh, tract uh, through the entire female reproductive tract the sperms will reach in the oviduct and in the oviduct what are there the female gamete ovum is there where ovum and sperm will fuse together to form the zygote and the fertilization will be successful so copulatory organ is there Transfer of gametes and coming to together of the gamete is essential for fertilization in sexual reproduction. And we know very well that in sexual reproduction, fertilization is an important event. So the transfer of the gametes is very important. When the gametes will be transferred, when the two gametes, uh, compatible gametes will come close to each other, then what will happen? The fertilization will occur. So today's video was based on that how do gamete transfer occur in algae and bryophytes and diadophytes, how do gamete transfer occur in the seed plants and how do the gamete transfer occur in unisexual animals. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching me.